Hey everyone, Sandeep Malia here from 99signals.com. Uh, I'm back with another product review. This time I'll not be talking about an AppSumo uh, deal. I'll be talking about a PitchGround deal. Uh, if you have not heard of uh, PitchGround, they are similar to AppSumo, but they focus more on SaaS products. It's a new site. It's relatively new. They launched uh, last year. And uh, when you go to the deal section of the website, you'll see all the deals that are currently live on the site. And you'll also see some of the deals that they offered in the past. So you get an idea as to what kind of tools you'll be getting here. So I'll provide a link in the description. I'll also provide a link to a post where I've uh, listed down the best deals that PitchGround is currently offering. And uh, you can check that out as well. So if you've never heard of this website, you can just go there, uh, visit the website and check out all the lifetime deals that they have to offer. If you're a fan of AppSumo, I'm pretty sure you like PitchGround as well. Just like AppSumo has a 60-day money-back uh, policy, uh, PitchGround also has a 60-day money-back policy on all uh, their deals. So do check them out. So the product I'll be talking about is uh, a social media scheduling tool called Social Champ. So I first became aware of this uh, tool because uh, I found that Guy Kawasaki uses it. If you haven't heard of Guy Kawasaki, he's uh, a social media influencer. He's currently the chief evangelist at Canva, which is an online design tool. But he's known for uh, his uh, marketing work that he did for Apple uh, back in the 80s and 90s. Uh, he was one of the people who was responsible for uh, the marketing of the original Macintosh uh, line back in uh, 1984. And uh, he uh, rejoined Apple, uh, you know, in uh, in the 90s and, uh, and he had a successful stint even uh, then. So uh, he has uh, uh, written a few books. Uh, his recent book, Wise Guy, which is uh, autobiographical, is an excellent book. You can check it out if you are an avid book reader. But he's uh, a social media influencer. He has a ton of followers on uh, uh, Facebook, on uh, Twitter, and uh, all his posts get tons of engagement so uh, when I found that uh, Guy Kawasaki is using uh, a tool that I had not heard of because I was under the impression that he would be using Buffer or Hootsuite or any of the mainstream uh, social media tools I just wanted to check it out and the best thing about Social Champ is you can uh, sign up for uh, a 7 day free trial and uh, this will give uh, you uh, full access to all the features for uh, the basic plan. This is the basic plan that uh, is on offer and uh, you can in fact uh, sign up for a free trial uh, for any of these plans and there's no uh, credit card required. You don't have to uh, give your credit card details. So during this walkthrough, if you're impressed with the features that Social Champ is offering, you can go to their website and sign up for a free trial. Or if you're watching this video when the pitch crown deal is live, uh, you can uh, get a lifetime access to it for $49. So the plan that is currently on offer at uh, PitchGround is uh, very similar to the professional plan, which is their basic plan. And uh, here you can connect uh, 15 social media profiles uh, and do 300 scheduled posts. Uh, the only difference here with the social champ plan is you can do 500 posts. So this is sort of a custom plan. Um, and we'll be talking about all these features when I'm doing the walkthrough. But uh, the feature that I like uh, the most is uh, the repeat post option that is there. And uh, you can also auto post content via RSS feed. So it has all the features that uh, a social media scheduling tool should have. And uh, it has a pretty neat interface and it's very easy to use as uh, you'll see in the walkthrough. So let me just log into my social champ account and we'll start the walkthrough next. So I've just logged into my social champ account and this is the dashboard. And uh, first time I logged in, it reminded me very much of uh, Buffer. And uh, if you've used Buffer before, you, uh, you'll you know what I'm talking about. The interface is quite similar. Buffer has now changed their interface, so it may not look exactly like this now. This interface that social champ has is pretty similar to Buffer. And uh, I found it very easy easy to work with because uh, you know I've been using buffer for a long time and uh, it was easy for me to you know just start uh, posting and scheduling stuff from uh, social champ so if you're a buffer user you'll uh, find some bit of familiarity uh, using this tool uh, so it's it's pretty user friendly and uh, if you've used any social media scheduling tool before uh, uh, some of them are really complicated like Hootsuite uh, it takes some time for you to uh, familiarize yourself with uh, the whole interface and all the different features that they have. It's also a combination of a social media scheduling tool and uh, a social media monitoring tool. So, you know, all that weighs in and uh, it has a steep learning curve. 
that's not the case with social champ uh, you can uh, get started right away the first thing that you need to do when you log into your account is obviously uh, start connecting your uh, social media accounts to social champ so you have an option to connect your twitter page your facebook page even your facebook group and you can do the same for your linkedin profile your linkedin page uh, you can even connect your google my business account and uh, you can connect pinterest and instagram i have connected four accounts uh, currently and uh, uh, you can do the same uh, if you've signed up for a trial uh, just connect uh, three or four of your main accounts and see how uh, social champ works for you next let's move on to posting and scheduling stuff on social champ because that's what you'll be mainly using this tool for and uh, let me pick one of the recent uh, blog posts uh, on uh, my blog and uh, I'm just going to copy and paste it here. I'm just going to copy the link and uh, paste it here. So once the post is ready, you can also select a few hashtags that you would like to go along with it. Uh, so once you start typing the hashtag, you'll get some auto suggestions. So that's a pretty neat feature. And uh, you can also see the snippet of the post uh, uh, at the bottom. You'll see the thumbnail of your post. Once the post is ready, you can either post it or you can schedule it or you can put it in queue. And here's the best part. So if you would like to repeat your post, you just need to select this option and then you'll get uh, the option to uh, select how many repetitions you want and uh, the time gap between repetitions. Or you can manually set the time when you would like uh, this post to be repeated you can change the date here and then you can um, also add more repetitions and then you have two options wherein you can retweet the same post multiple times from your account or let social champ delete your previous post uh, before posting a new one uh, so if you have an issue with uh, posting the same content over and over again if you don't like that uh, in your social account you can select any of these two options uh, and uh, your analytics will be anyway saved uh, any post that has been deleted by social champ you can still see the analytics of that post in the analytics section so this is a pretty good feature if you have a lot of evergreen posts on your blog this feature would make sense it would make sense for you to repeat some of the posts on your blog you can also select multiple accounts here. You can't, you can't select multiple Twitter accounts uh, because of uh, the Twitter policy, but you can select Facebook here. Uh, and then uh, you can customize the post for uh, each network. If these are two different social networks, so you would want to have a different caption for Facebook. And you can change the whole caption here and uh, make it more suitable for your audience on Facebook. Similarly, if you have more social accounts, uh, you can't select multiple uh, Twitter accounts, like I said, but you can select multiple Facebook accounts. You can select uh, multiple LinkedIn accounts. So uh, once the post is ready on, on each channel, you can uh, either post it, schedule it or uh, add it to queue. So this is how you post and schedule content on social champ. So if you schedule any of your content, you can go to the queue tab and you'll be uh, able to see the posts that are currently in queue. So uh, you can see the posts that are currently in queue and you can also change the view here from uh, calendar view to list view and uh, you'll be able to see all the posts that are scheduled from your account. Next, when you move on to the suggestion tab, uh, you'll be able to add uh, a few RSS links here. There will be a few already added based on the niche that you're in. Uh, you can add your own RSS feed and you can add uh, the RSS feed of uh, a site where you would like to curate content from. So I've added my own RSS feed here and uh, as you can see, it will show uh, you know 10 to 15 of my latest blog posts. And uh, I can just make a post out of these. I can select any of my recent posts and just select the social media account where I would like to post this. And I can just uh, select an option from here to post it or put it in queue or to schedule it. So this is again uh, a really good uh, option. So it will auto populate content for you. It's not just good for posting content from your own blog, but it's also good for curating content. And uh, most probably you'll be doing this on Twitter and Facebook. So it's a good option to have. You can add the RSS link of uh, uh, all the blogs that you follow and uh, it's uh, pretty easy to add an RSS link you just need to put uh, feed at the end of the URL and uh, your RSS feed uh, is ready so you can just add this give it a title and then uh, you know you can start posting content so this way you can allow social champ to uh, auto populate uh, content for you and then you would just have to uh, uh, click a button probably change the caption and then post it so it reduces some bit of friction there and the last tab here is uh, analytics. You get to see uh, the analytics of all the posts that have uh, 
been scheduled from your account uh, so this is uh, one of my uh, one of the twitter accounts that i manage uh, it's called woodhouse tweets i'm a woodhouse fan and i've been uh, running this account for a few years now and it's uh, i get a lot more engagement here than in my uh, blog or my agency account so you will get to see the basic twitter analytics you'll see the number of uh, retweets that have happened a uh, number of reputations that you have done for uh, the post and uh, you'll also when you click on uh, show details you'll be able to see when it was posted and uh, if it has been repeated uh, numerous times you'll be able to see when that repetition happened uh, you also have the option to repost content from here so anything that you see in your analytics tab uh, you can repost uh, the content and you, you can also view the published post uh, from here itself so uh, this is uh, analytics pretty important uh, uh, if you see that uh, some of your posts are doing better than the others you can reschedule them uh, right from the analytics tab itself you also have the option to shorten your link so uh, unlike uh, buffer or hoot suite uh, social champ will not automatically shorten the link for you so it will uh, present the whole link now twitter anyway automatically removes the entire link uh, from uh, display so that's the reason you're not able to see the link here but you can also use uh, you know link shorteners uh, like uh, bitly you can just uh, connect your bitly account to a social champ and you can also enable google analytics uh, you can do this by enabling this option and uh, entering all the the appropriate utm parameters so these are some of the key features that i wanted to talk about uh, you also have uh, other features like bulk uploader where you can uh, upload a csv file with all your links and then start uh, you know populating content on your uh, social media accounts and on pitch ground if you stack up two codes you get to add uh, one team member if you have a lot of social media accounts or if you are from an agency where uh, you would like to add a few team members then you can stack up more codes on pitch ground like i said if you are watching this review at a time when the pitch ground deal is live go ahead and buy lifetime access to it uh, if you like this walk through or uh, you can sign up for a free trial uh, and see how this works uh, that's what i've done i've signed up for a free trial and as you can see there are four days left in my trial i'm still deciding whether to go for uh, lifetime access because i'm currently using social b uh, i reviewed uh, social b a few weeks back and uh, it's a different kind of social media tool you can uh, watch the review uh, and if you yet to make up your mind about uh, social champ you can check out uh, social b review as well if that's the kind of social media tool that you would like to go for so i'm cu currently using that and i'm not sure whether i would like to go for an additional uh, social media scheduler but if uh, you don't use one currently if you are uh, just managing through uh, the free trials of hoot suite or uh, the free account that buffer provides you with uh, with limited capabilities then social champ is uh, uh, definitely an option for you it's a cheaper option if you're buying it on pitch ground you'll get lifetime access to it uh, and uh, you can add up to 15 accounts and schedule uh, 500 posts a month per social media account so uh, hope you enjoyed this review hope you found it useful uh, all the links uh, to social champ and uh, the pitch ground deal uh, are in the description of this video you can check them out if you have any uh, questions just comment below and i'll try to answer them as best as i can so if you find these reviews useful i would really appreciate if you could uh, like this video and subscribe to this channel because i'll be doing at least two or three uh, product reviews each month you can also check out some of the older product reviews on this channel and you'll also find a few tutorials here and there on uh, SEO and social media marketing thanks once again for watching this video and i'll be back very soon with my next video